Burton asked, has our country's acceptance of multiculturalism contributed to the formation of segregated communities and homegrown bombers? Now, I don't think multiculturalism is responsible for violent jihad at all. We had multiculturalism long before we had violent jihad. Um, in my view, the cause of the current wave of violent jihadist terrorism is a religious heresy. Um, which is not about true Islam at all, which has developed um, and caught uh, the imagination of a large number of young men in different parts of the world. Um, you know, bright young students, and many of the people who've been convicted of terrorism offences have been bright young men, um, are always looking for a cause. Um, they feel rebellious against their traditional family backgrounds. Um, rebels without a cause don't usually succeed very far. Rebels with a cause gather a group of people around them or become part of, an, of a group. And it can be very attractive for a short period of time in a young person's life. I think there's evidence that this is what has happened. Um, I, I, I think you have to distinguish between our form of multiculturalism and the non-multiculturalism of many countries where the ethnic groups within the country are far more separate than here. Having said that, I think it's important to say that um, there is a heavy responsibility on leaders of uh, Muslim communities, because there is no single Muslim community in this country, to um, discourage young people from this kind of heresy. And I think also the Muslim community has a heavy responsibility to make it as clear as crystal that, as is the case, they are opposed to terrorism. Who is damaged most by terrorism in this country? It's the Muslim communities.